developing right now. Dozens of families in New Jersey in distress. They were forced out of their homes when their apartment buildings were suddenly condemned. Now, hundreds scrambling to find a new place to live, many with no place to go. New Jersey reporter Tony Yates live at the scene in Plainfield with the developing details. Tony. Yeah, David and Sandra, a lot of these families started packing last night. They've been packing all morning. We want to show you. Uh, they've been packing their belongings in suitcases, garbage bags, recycling bags, anything they have uh, before they are not allowed in these buildings again. Now, we have pictures of some of the conditions they were living under. These are the pictures a resident of the building took of their bathroom in one of the buildings. Advocates say the owners target very specific clientele. Some of them don't have legal paperwork to live here so they will try and go try to make a living in a decent place paying for these it's not like they don't work they have the money they pay their dues every first of the month city officials said they had no choice but to condemn the buildings at 501 and 515 west 7th street when inspectors followed up on a complaint from a resident the quality of life task force is made up of staff from health inspections fire police they say the families had just paid august rent just days ago some as much as four thousand dollars and they are furious no one can tell them anything about getting their money back we're in shock, so we all started to get together, started to talk to each other to see what what we, can we do, uh, because it's you know less than 24 hours. We don't know where we're gonna go. No one has the money to just pick up and just find another apartment. Residents tell us it seems ownership changes hands or at least names many times. They say right now it's listed under Cyclone West 84 LLC, and the city says we are reaching out to the owner. We have not been able to get in touch with him. We have been trying to reach out to him since we did our inspection. Very difficult to find uh, those owners at this point. You see some of these people have packed their belongings. Uh, some of their other family members are at City Hall right now trying to figure out uh, where they're going to go next. Now the city is responding. They set up tents and they've uh, set up tables outside City Hall. They're asking the families to stay together and come one by one so that they can at least try to find some temporary housing uh, for them at this point while they again still try to find the owners of these buildings. For now we're live here in Plainfield, New Jersey. Tony Yates, Channel 7 Eyewitness News. Thank you, Tony. And let's take you over to Plainfield City Hall, where we expect Plainfield Mayor Adrian Mapp speak on the developing situation soon. You can see some people are out in front right now letting them know about their concerns. And we'll have his comments later in this newscast as soon as we get it.